All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how with Bitwig 2.0, it's super easy to use some of its new devices and modulators to take control over and sequence our modular synthesizers. In order to accomplish this, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need, first of all, a modular synthesizer, second, Bitwig 2.0, and then third, an audio interface that has some DC coupled outputs, as well as a handful of regular modular synth patch cables and some converting ones that go from quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter. All right, let's get set up by first making our external connections. We'll take the first converting patch cable and go from one of the DC coupled outputs to my oscillator's one volt per octave input. Then I'll take a second converting patch cable and connect it from one output of my audio interface to the trigger input of my envelope generator. Next, I'll patch the output of my oscillator to my VCA. Now using a third converting patch cable, I'll connect the output of my VCA to an input on my audio interface. Now let's jump inside of Bitwig. I'll start by adding an instrument track and then adding a hardware device called the hardware CV instrument. The hardware CV instrument has two outputs and one input, one for pitch CV output, one for gate output, and one for receiving the audio input from our modular synthesizer. I'll now go through and adjust the device's input and output settings to match the hardware connections we just made. Now I can bring up the level of my oscillator and click the Tune button to calibrate the hardware CV instrument device. Now I can connect my envelope generator to the CV control input of my VCA. Next, I'll turn up the level and check to make sure that everything's working. You can use the pitch offset dial to adjust the tuning of your oscillator. Or set the glide time between notes. Now let's add some more modulation. I'll use a fourth converting patch cable to connect an unused output of my audio interface to whichever parameter of my modular synth I want to modulate. Now, back inside of Bitwig, I'll add the hardware CV output device to the CV output device's slot in my hardware CV instrument device. Then I'll adjust its single output to match the hardware connection we just made. Now we can use its one large dial to control the parameter of our synthesizer we just connected it to. Every good modular patch could always use at least one more LFO. In version 2, Bitwig introduced modulators that allow us to modulate virtually any parameter inside of Bitwig. I'll add a classic LFO, set up its settings to my taste, and have it modulating this CV output. Since I'm using the push as my main MIDI controller, it'd be great to have hands-on control over our new LFO. Using the new control pages inside of Bitwig 2.0, I'll map out two knobs to control both the depth and the rate for my LFO. Now if I navigate on the push to display device parameters, I can see I've got two controls now for both depth and rate over this LFO.
All right, and that's the basics of using some of the new devices and modulators in Bitwig 2.0 to start taking control of your modular synthesizer. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave any questions or comments you may have below. All right, thanks. Bye.